Welcome, everybody. It's Mario from Barberview TV Podcast. Thank you for checking in. Got a very special podcast today, but let me run through all of my list of things that we have to go through before we get down to the business. We're now live on Amazon Fire TV, Roku, and we just went live on Apple TV. Absolutely no excuse for you to check out Barber Culture from all over the world. 26 countries all over the place. Additionally, make sure to check us out on all social media platforms and make sure to download us on Apple Podcasts, iHeartMedia Podcasts, and wherever you download your favorite podcast. Very, very special guest today. Um, as you're looking at all the videos right now, we're doing this live and direct. This is not staged. Uh, my man here, um, just to give him a quick introduction, um, from Burtonsville, Maryland, which is a suburb of uh, D.C., northeast corner, hosting the first annual Barber Expo in Burtonsville, Maryland, going down July 10th. I advise you guys go to Eventbrite, get those tickets. Let's pack that house. Live and direct from Real Barbershop. Luis, what's up, brother? How you doing? Hey, what's up, Mario? How you doing, my brother? Thank Chilling, you so man. much for having me on your show today, man. I really appreciate all the help and the support, man. Oh, you, you guys got are great. Oh, thanks, brother. I appreciate all the love and support, man. We're we're here for the culture, man. Um, I, I linked up with you via uh Edimar, which I met through Premier uh Barber Institute, yes. but Yes. Um, I'm just very excited about what you guys are doing. I like the fact that you guys are just saying, I'm going to make my, my own impact. But let me back up a little bit. Let's start with you, homie, my Latino buddy from the DR. I'm from the PR. My man's from the DR. So let's make this happen. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Hell yeah, man. You know, it's all brother. <laughs> this is all brotherhood, man. We right there in the island. So you know how we do it. When it comes For to sure. The Yo, whole so culture with that. Yeah, brother. So, yo, how did you get involved in barbering? Tell us a little bit about that story, about what made you pick up those clippers. What's up? Man, so, you know, since I was a young and I always liked the, the, the barbershop vibe, you know, with the whole, the music, the, the sport talking, the whole, uh, you know, music. That, and I just got into it every time I, I was in the Bronx, New York, every time I go uh, to the barbershop and get a haircut. I just liked, I loved the vibe. Cause it's so chill. You could actually go in a barber shop and release some stretches by even watching TV or just talking about sports or whatever. So that's how I started getting a little bit more, uh, you know, f feeling like type of love for the barber industry. Mm -hmm. for the, you know, started liking it from there, and then I started going more often every week. I started meeting. I met uh, another guy named Jose who was actually a Dominican brother, and he was a, a barber at the, at the moment right there, and Anthony, and he was the one who basically pulled me on and was like, yo, this is not, being a barber is not just being a barber, it's, it's, it's basically having a career, you know? And you enjoy yourself, you can become your own boss once you start renting booth, and, you know, I just, I, I really like this barber culture, you know, you, you get to make people feel good, feel fresh, and, you know, it go a long way. For sure, yo, shot, and I'm from Queens, New York, so shout out to all the New York City, yo, special shout out. Bronx in the building, Bronx in the building. <laughs> BX, stand up, but yo, check it out though. BX. Special shout outs to all of the hair shops, the female Dominican hairdressers, they be getting that hair bone straight, dog, that curly joint, yo, the girls be getting that hair super straight, dog, <laughs> so it's yeah, mad yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> so it's that crazy straight. Said that that perm all of that man yeah it's crazy yo like everyone like whenever they want to get the when, whenever the females when they want to get their hair straight they're like yo i'm going to the dominican shop they say that yeah, all the yeah. time in new york no nah, doubt seriously but <laughs> it's so it's so it's so many of them you don't even know which one to go to exactly exactly That's, yeah good stuff man so yeah um so as far as uh Real Barbershop, which we can all follow you at, at Real Barbershop. Yo, the cuts look crazy. They're crispy. Um, I just can't wait to come there uh, for, for the expo, man. Everything yeah, is on I appreciate, point. I appreciate, I appreciate you, man. They could also check me out though, at our website, uh, realbarbershop.net, and also uh, check us out on Busky, which is uh, real, real barbershop busky.2. 
That's what's up, yo. So, yo, so tell us a little bit about your shop and and the culture and and what you're bringing to that area. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, you know, uh, I came to Burnsville. I was located in downtown Silver Spring and came to Burnsville like four years ago. Mm -hmm. I was at a small suite. And, um, you know, of course, I was sharing uh, the whole building with a whole bunch of other tenders uh, where they, you know, they had lawyers, dentists and, you know, mm-hmm. barbershop, how live we be, man, with yeah. the whole music <laughs> and a lot of walking and yes. everybody making their own story and everything. But uh, make the story short, man, uh, I ended up getting another location, which is a, re- a retail space out of first door. Now I got my own bathroom. And I don't share uh, basically anything with no none of my other <laughs> tenders, so this is great. You know, I started here, me and another my friend, and you know, the shop is basically we we bringing a whole, uh, basically a whole Caribbean atmosphere, a whole Latino with uh, Americanized uh, atmosphere in the barber industry. We do all type of haircuts. We you know we, we do scissors, straight hair, uh, curly hair. All type of stuff, you know. So, uh, you know, things is great because there's not so many competition in this area. And, you know, we use a straight racer. And, you know, I got my name that goes around in the area. So, everybody know I've been doing this for about almost 10, 12 years now. So, you know, I, I consider myself an OG. Even though, you know, I, I, I it, it was every beginning is super hard. I had a tough time becoming a barber. But, you know, we're here now. We, we just... As, as you mentioned, you know, earlier, before we're going to have our first uh, uh, show uh, coming up and eventually we want to start doing that uh, every year, you know, but we could get the barber, all the local barbers and, you know, out of state barber, barber school all together, united, you know, as, as brothers and just to, 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 to make more noise when it comes to the barber industry. Because, you know, this whole COVID situation knocked us out. And basically, everybody started working from home, and everybody's not like so organized like it used to be. Yo, so tell me a little bit about how COVID impacted your shop, because every person I talk to, man, um, number one, I'm, I think, and I do um, as as a as a barbershop owner myself, it was so frustrating how we tried to. We had first, we had people that was taking care of the people. And we couldn't even yes. give them a cut. You had people doing like cuts out their cars, blocking out their shops. T- tell us the impact that you personally experienced during COVID. You know, it was it, it was a hard situation since, since it was nothing. It was something new to every barber in the area. You know, since we were shut down for almost three months, we couldn't work from inside the shop. So we started doing more like house call. You know, it was actually a good and a bad because it, it prepared us for something major. Something major happened. Uh, we could be more aware of what could happen. You know, we started doing more house call, uh, taking the, the whole uh, disinfecting more seriously when it comes to, you know, uh, having more protection, being more organized. Because, of course, everybody had to wear gloves and mask and, you know, had to be extra cleaner than, you know, the normal thing. Uh, well, yeah, I, I definitely will say this. The pandemic taught us how to stack our bread, too, right? Because, man, exactly, when, yeah. <laughs> when, yeah. there, when there was no money coming through the door, it was like, yeah. damn, like, now we've learned how to be lean and not balling out too hard, you know, but still the the value of money. And also to the customers, the value of the barber was appreciated i'm telling you man i know tell me when your shop opened back up what was that vibe like day one when the shop opened back up man it, it was there it was there because you know everybody was scared to get the covid <laughs> that's crazy so, for real so, so you had you had a few people who used to come in and like nothing happened but then you had some other people who were walking in here with like where you know with like 20 face masks and, <laughs> and, and it's so hard to even uh, cut somebody hair where you know having so much cut you could the face mask off and it was it was just crazy man but you know I'm glad we're here today and things gotten a little better and that you know we able to do uh normal thing I said not not the same thing we used to do before COVID started but a little bit a little bit more than how how it was 
that's good stuff, man. So if I was to come to work in your shop, what would you want to see out of me as a barber? Tell me what, what one of, if you was to hire a barber, what are you looking for as a shop owner in hiring a barber that's coming into the game? What are some of the things that you're looking for? I, w- I, w- I would love to see uh, being honest, being uh, respectful, and being um, very, uh, this is work called, um, I won't say like hungry, but more like, uh, you know, you, you want to keep on grinding for yours. Being um, ambitious when it comes to the fact that, you know, you knew, uh, you knew when the barber and you, you knew on a new place, so you got to grind, grind for yours, you know, because sometimes mm-hmm. a lot of barbers. Most day you you you, you got to put the food and also feed him. You know what I mean. You got to be able to be uh, more independent when it comes to you know. There's somebody like uh, I had a barber when I used to walk out of barber shop. They gave me the opportunity just to be part of their team. So I had to grind grind for mine. You know what I mean. I was uh, so basically just just being being um ambition when it comes to you know learning how to build your clientele, how to be. Uh, on time when it comes to you know a client time and, and stuff like that they're more you know, that's uh, yep responsible then. yeah for sure I, I definitely hear all of that man um there's been a big debate about the new barbers right i mean it's it's so many people <laughs> joining the ranks of being the barber I yeah. think they're missing a couple tools. You know, they're kind of trying to fast track and shortcut to get to the bread. Oh, uh, yeah. What what characteristics, what things do you want to see um, happen? I could tell you one thing, like we we were victim of that. A lot of barbers think they could cut for six months and then they dip, but they just been cutting for hair five minutes ago. Um, exactly. What type of commitment are you looking for from a barber to make sure that he's groomed because you're in as a as an owner you're investing in that person you're throwing resources and time what type of exactly. commitment are you looking for in that barber before you feel he's good to branch out and do uh, other, other things i would say uh, i would say you know since i've been in that situation before i was a freshman and uh, in the barber industry and um i feel like having patience having patience and, and and most of all believing in yourself and 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 loving what you do you know, because a lot of people they 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 get into a barber shop and they're gonna think they, they think they're gonna make a thousand dollar in a day, you know, and everything takes time. You you gotta start from zero. Uh, it doesn't go from zero to one hundred real quick. It goes from zero slowly. You gotta build build it up, you know. So you gotta learn from your teammate. Also, put in the work yourself when it comes to you know you can sit in a shop all day, and you don't you only cut one client, but that doesn't mean you gotta quit on yourself, you know, and just go to. Uh, harder you know you got to stick around make your business call uh let clients know what you capable of doing when it comes to haircut you know if how nice you are and that's how you end up building you know uh your clientele i had at the barber shop here when i'm located i have plenty of barber who came in in and out because they got desperate they see me making money and they want to do the same thing but not knowing what i've been through to get what i'm at you know what i'm saying so they were just quick on themselves and then you know how it is one door closed 20 door open but uh, it just being patient, you know, uh, basically taking one thing at a time and then keep believing in yourself and, you know, motivating yourself also. You know, in the barbershop, you got to, like, um, mix thing up. Like, uh, you're not just going to come in here. You go to a barbershop, you started working and just sit there, wait for the walking to come in for you. You got to go out there and grind it out, you know, throw your mm-hmm. own special. First time haircut, 10 bucks, you know, uh, 15 bucks let me just take care of you you know start a conversation clients like that most clients they they you know a lot of clients they do care about the haircut but most is your personality you know yeah. that, that you have personality you could attract more clients coming in because that's how we build on a clientele word of mouth you know i cut someone hell that person brought me their cousin their grandma next thing you know i got they i'm cutting their whole family because you know <laughs> yeah, that's just how it goes and see and a lot of people don't consider that like if you take like a male, if he's got like a homie and then like three friends and you're yeah. charging thirty, forty dollars, that's like six thousand to seven seven thousand a year per customer that people don't consider. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you're right. You're hundred percent right, man. But uh that's how we got going on. But I'm glad, you know, we got people like you who uh understand the industry and who are willing here to help out. 
you know, by doing such a nice show like the one you got, which, uh, you know, entertain people and um, it teaches you more. You have different type of story, different type of ideas from different barbers, you know, that, and, and it's a good thing, man. We need more people like you, more, more, more people that. like you, people like all of us, you know, that like we could just bring this because, you know, this is this is a career, man. This ain't no, this is, this is like I was talking to my, my uh, Calderon, my, my, my guy, you know, it was like, you know, we get certified just like any doctor or any any anyone else. So this 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 is more than just being a barber. This is you know it's a it's a good career. We really take it seriously, and you know we're looking looking to uh, upgrade it every year. You know. Gotcha. Yeah, brother. I, I do appreciate it, and that's you know like Barberview TV. My, my passion is to make sure that everyone has a level playing field. To me, I personally feel. Uh, with everything with social media, there wasn't like rules put in place. So everyone just took off and they went all in a direction. But there still needs yeah. to be some kind of order and some kind of place to where we can all get inf information, learn from people, um, s hear people's story that's behind the chair and and, re and understand what they've gone through. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, there's too many people that's not reaching back and doing research and trying to really understand where we all came from just like you said right. as a barber right. owner you have to have a certain skill set in order to run and lead a team to be able to cut hair then turn around and order supplies then oh a pipe burst let me go do that and let me do this and then go home and take care of family time i mean it's not as easy as people think but we're like superheroes so we make it happen like that you feel me yeah, yeah, that's facts, man. That's, that's 100% right. You're 100% right on that one. Huh? Absolutely. Well, brother, I, I don't want to take up too much of your time. It sounds like y'all jamming up in there. I love it, bro. Yeah, yeah. I do have one. <laughs> but hey, we can set up another time when I'm free and, you know, talk a little bit more often. But it, it was it was great. It was great talking to you. Hope to meet you uh, July. July 10th. I, at the, at, the ten, at the expo we have going on here so you can come and meet the shop and see some of my barb and see some good things competition coming up for sure yeah i'm definitely going to be there live and direct man july 10th everybody right. eventbrite.com go to at real barbershop go ahead and follow subscribe let's pack the house man i mean we have a chance to make history here in this area you just don't know who you're going to come across, man. You could learn something from everybody in the industry, man. Even if it's one thing, that's one thing more that you had before you came to the show. You know what I'm saying? So no doubt. So, hey, Luis, brother, it's a pleasure, man. I can't wait to come hey, there, bro. For Thank sure, you so man. Thank so much for having me. Oh, man, looking forward to meet you and uh, keep working with you a long way. So I see what you're doing for the industry, and I really appreciate that. So much blessing and you know keep grinding for sure all right brother yo barbeview tv in the house with louise at real barbershop peace out everybody we'll see you later